and you see why with this episode that I was like, mm, I'm not too sure how I'm going to really feel when we get to this stuff, because when we get to see our villains... I, I say that with heavy quotation marks because they're more just like, not even an obstacle, here's this broken fence that we've just placed here for you and like, deal with these two chuckle fucks, which is Snowboy, slight weird creepy pedophile on there, and really creepy guy who is just a fucking, just a even fatter version of me with lipstick on. Like, there's no real way of dancing around with his creepy glasses and everything. It's just like, alright then, let's just deal with these two fuckers. Because Black Clover gives us this, and boy, and I'm I am more happy with when we keep getting to like the next like the next episode preview. So yeah, a lot of the things that I've been saying is that like uh, immediately when I was like checking this episode, I remember watching it. I was like, I came off this episode pretty middling to cool, and, I, and normally I like to go like after I put these out. I was like, let me see what people think, and obviously when I put these out a little bit later, a lot of thoughts already come out, and it's like. I was seeing quite a lot of people, I'm glad it isn't just uh, me and all that, because I've seen uh, some people that are like, they defend this side, where it's like, no, it's, it starts off a bit shitty, but it gets good, which I definitely agree. I think this uh, this arc starts off really rough, and then it r picks up with some of the stuff that we've got to, uh, that's going to be involving in this arc. And then it's like, wow, these last two episodes have been really just not what we were expecting. Like, generally, like, a lot of people thought, like, since the start of this whole Rebecca thing that was like, is this filler? And that's the thing. It generally feels like filler. Like when you feel it where it's like, we just had someone with the white night eyes and it's like, this is clear downtime to something else. And then it escalates, which we get to see in this episode that Asta, Gauch, Noel, and the creepy priest lady, like our priestess is there going, all right, we need to figure out what's going on. This magic, like this snow is magically enhanced in some way, which is taking uh, kids and all that who haven't fully adapted into like magical resistances at all. However, like uh, Mary does have a little bit from it. Like when she, uh, she has like a mirror that Gauch gave her, which is like, it gives you a little bit of protection. So she's like one of the first few kids to be knocked out of this like trance, out of this like magic, which we find out uh, one of the, the little guy that we saw at the end of the uh, last week's episode is our technical villain. Like, um, I think his name is Be uh, Beige or like, honestly, they're both so fucking forgettable. So like, I just call them Snowman and Fat Man. Like that's pretty much what they are. So Snowman is there, and he's like, Come, my little children, you'll be my friends. I'm the Pied Piper. Like, clearly, like, taking inspiration from that. It's like, I'm the Pied Piper, and it's like, Look, you're all going to be my wonderful friends. Mary puts up a little bit of the fuss, where it's like, No, this isn't this isn't how you make friends, which involves, a like, Asta, Gauch, no, like, Nun Lady, just all jumping in, going there, while Noel tries to get some assistance from, like, uh, that green mantis motherfucker that keeps going, bah -huh. like, it's like, no, get people in here now, get magic knights, we've got a serious, which I, I don't remember in the manga, I don't remember Noel calling them up, so it was a nice little bit, it was like, oh, like, okay, magic, nice to know where they're coming from now, because it's like, we've actually got a communication device just to call these people in, and it's like, no, we need people here now, because there's a situation happening at, like, midnight, which we find out later on what exactly these guys are doing, they are being tasked by someone we don't know who that is yet but their task is to get these kids and drain them of their magical powers which turns out like if you actually do this and just like as they were doing they're just throwing around if they don't deal with this quickly then there are going to be a bunch of kids that are just not going to be born with magic at all which really triggers Aster going throughout this episode where it's like oh, oh, are you serious like he doesn't want anyone else to ever go through what he personally felt are like felt like which obviously he was ridiculed and like obviously the anime kind of really shows that a lot where like you every villain that we kind of get is like oh you you don't use magic what a failure and like i can't feel a lick of thing from you and like we see when this is immediately because the the big fat guy is like whole thing is like he has like a monocle that can tell from magic energy and one thing that we we're talking from this episode gauch is really fucking strong like that was one thing where it's like it's sad to admit, as much as I don't like Gauch, he is the sh one of the stronger fighters in the entire group. Like, probably, if we're not including Yami, who is the strongest out of there, like, he's probably next level of luck. I'd probably put him on there. I think mine is a little bit lower compared to, like, luck, um, which I think he obviously improved later on that he gets, to, like, closer to that level. But, like, obviously, like, their highest people, like, out of magical proportion, not including Aster into this, is luck. 
uh, Gauche, and probably after that, I'd say Charm, like either Charmy or Vanessa, like because they definitely have. But like uh, Vanessa is more of a utility character, and like Charmy is like depending when she wants to actually get serious or not. But it's like it's like no, you can see that it's like he is a serious threat. Like he actually can be. He just has one of the worst tropes in anime history just behind him, which is his entire thing, where it's like no, Mary, and it's like it's the whole like I, I like I know and I get it. I will say one thing is that while this episode really didn't look good, it was stiff. I was seeing fucking still images being moved around and shit like that. However, there was one scene that was really good, and that was when Gauss was fighting the snowmen, and it was like, holy shit, they're actually doing all this crazy lighting effect, and they're doing like all this stuff flashing around. I'm like, that looks really, that, it doesn't look amazing, but it was like, oh, that actually looks really decent on there. And it was like the one takeaway from the episode, because I felt like both wise, that animation wise, and also as well, episode wise, this is. Probably, I would still say my least favorite is the recap episode with like the boat little clips in there, and it's still nowhere as insufferable f than how it was in like uh, the early episodes of the anime, where it's like this is sh the filler that they were adding in there was fucking unbearable, and this like this one was fine. It, I feel the same way as I do as I did with the manga chapter, where I was like, can we please just get over this right now? I like. It was literally, like, I remember how it was when I was reading this. I was like, wow, I cannot wait for the next time because so far this is underwhelming after, like, we had such an improvement with the uh, Capital Invasion arc. And I was like, now we're getting this one, which is, like, the snow... Oh, I don't even know what the fuck they even call this one, I guess. Like, this uh, Snow Peak arc or whatever it is. And it's like, you know what? Like, I'm looking forward definitely to next week episode because that's when it starts kicking off. So... They know, they know that they're going through this, and I'm glad they're going at a slightly decent... I felt like this was maybe two chapters or something, like this uh, episode, it could have been one, but this one felt like a little bit faster paced than, like, last week's one. Last week's one was definitely its detriment. It was, like, the biggest weakness of that one, but even still, this wasn't a great episode. And again, I know, I'm going to get backlash for that, but, like, but I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to do that. Like, as a reviewer, I am going to give you my ser like my opinion, and even if it's a series I really enjoy or care or even love and all that, like, I will still admit to you when I don't like an episode of this show, and I'm going to be doing that right now. I don't like this, e like, this episode too much. Like, honestly, if it wasn't the fact that this is canon and it kind of leads into something, these would be filler episodes where I'd be like, you could skip them. Like, you could honestly, like, skip them. So, like, it's still at that weird point where it's like, I was kind of hoping that the anime would really brush through. Like, I was hoping that at least, the, uh, like, the past three episodes would have been compiled into one. That's honestly how I feel with, like, this, um with these episodes where it's like, I kind of wish they kind of bundled them up a little bit together so we'd get this through this quicker. And then next, uh, like next week's episode would be like the second episode of this and then leaving it on. It's like, definitely I hope that's not where we're going with Clover where it's like, no, like we really want to stretch it down to like make sure that we get to the war, like the, the war temple because that's clearly where we're now going to be ending off. So like, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But let me know you guys think the conversation down below. That's all for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys though next time.